Attention, my fellow runners. Imagine if you could predict your end marathon time. That's right. In this video, I'm about to unveil the runner's crystal ball called the Yasso 800. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Here we try to make videos with as much valuable insights and training tips as possible. So thank you again for joining. Make sure that you hit that like button. And as a thank you for doing so, here's a picture of Kelvin Kiptum smashing the marathon world record. Today in this video, we are exploring the Yasso 800s. This workout is named after Bart Yasso, a legendary runner, and those Yasso 800s are a fantastic interval workout. But that's not all. They're also a predictor for your marathon time. With the Yasso 800s, I wanted to see whether they could give an accurate prediction of your marathon time. I recently did a marathon and I also completed the Yasso 800. If you want to know how I did in the SO800, stick around to the end of this video because that's where I'll be explaining how I did it and how it translated to my marathon time. But first I'm going to tell you exactly how to do the Yasso 800. First of all, you should have somewhat of an idea how fast you want to run your marathon. Because after you have done your warm-up, and this should be anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes to get a good warm-up in and to reduce injury risk, you want to do 8 to 10 intervals of 800 meter sprints or efforts. So for instance, if you want to run a 3 hour marathon, then those 800 meters should be at 3 minutes. And after every 800 meters of interval, you should rest your equivalent time. So in the example of the three hour marathon, you should rest or run easy for three minutes. If you have absolutely no idea what your marathon time might be, you could also opt to just go every 800 meters full out and then rest the equivalent time as it took you to run those 800 meters. You can then take your average time of those 800 meter intervals and this will give you an estimation on your possible marathon time. And as some of you might recall, I recently ran my first ever marathon in 2 hours and 58 minutes and 40 seconds. So my Yasso 800 average time. How did I do? Drum roll please. I did them in. 2 minutes and 59 seconds. How close is that to my equivalent marathon time? It absolutely blew my mind that this was so close. All right, remember the ESO 800s are a fantastic tool to gauge your marathon time. But remember, it's not just about this workout. It's about a complete package where you run the volume, you do the intensity and you keep up the hard work and training for weeks on end. The SO 800s are just a tool that you can use extra. So this is a wrap on the ESO 800 video. I hope you found this content valuable. If you did, run on over to that like button and hit it for me. Also subscribe to see more content when it comes up. My name is Mats. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Keep training, keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.